we are. We are back. This hey guys. is a special nighttime, Sunday nighttime recap. Recap. This is Sports Chat with Nat and Master T. Hey, y'all. Listen, we have to ask you before we start. First, thank you for watching. And please hit the subscribe, like, follow button on YouTube and find us on Instagram, Sports Chat with Nat7. All right, here we go. This is week number nine. We halfway through, y'all. All right, it was go. week nine and it was live. And it I do all be live. Way live. So we started Thursday night with those Steelers <laughs> hosting those Tennessee Titans. I'm sorry. Okay, the final too school. excited <laughs> with that one. I got I got put it this way, you guys, because I am in the process while we're doing this. I am also watching game day replay, so there are certain things I'll be saying in the process. Of what's yeah, going. she gonna be well. Listen, we do it like they do on ESPN. We give it to you as we see it, as it happened, just right. like them. But we are gonna catch you up. So anyway, that final score was twenty sixteen. Now Pickett, that was his seventh, fourth game, fourth quarter comeback, and the Steelers' defense held King Henry to 75 yards. And Cam mm -hmm. Haywood came back, and that was a big reason for that. Now, uh, Will Levis, the little rookie, he, he was 22 of 39 for 262, but he did have one interception. All right. Moving right on to, to this morning over in Germany, the Dolphins at the Chiefs. Oh. Tyree talked a lot of stuff about what he was going to do and they was going to see the work. They shut him down. They shut him down for real. Like that LL Cool J song said, I shut him down. They I shut, shut him, him down. down. The fight. The final score was 14-21. Uh, the Chiefs beat him. Uh, Travis Kelsey. Was awful. Three, rece three receptions, 14 yards. Awful. 2.4 fantasy football points. And the reason why I know that is because he's on my fantasy football team. So you see my facial expression. It is like... 14 yards. The defense was awesome, though. The defense... Patrick Mahomes says the best defense in the league. They... Now, I will say, I, I am shocked at the game. Like, when I woke up, I did... Like, I think when I turned on the game, like, it was at the beginning of... Uh, at the end of first quarter. So mm -hmm. it was 7-0. And I think uh, the Chiefs were about to get another touchdown. So I was kind of shocked at that, that the Chiefs were annoying. But on my way to the game, I was also still keeping track of it on the on Marta. But I did see that. I I was shocked because it, was, it wasn't until like third after halftime that they actually, the Dolphins came back yes. and did. So actually the Dolphins defense held the um, Chiefs offense like throughout the second half. Yes. Like they shut them out. Cause I think right before the halftime score was like 21-17. I mean, 21-7. So their defense did. So Pat's right. Their defense did hold them, but I'm just shocked that their offense didn't do as well as I thought yeah that game um let me see let me see something no it was uh 21 zero oh my bad half. i forgot it was 21 yeah it was it i was, was shot at half zero at the half yeah yeah so, so they held them scoreless in the second half as we're talking about them game day final literally yeah. is, so, is about yeah. to start talking about them so yeah so now, uh, like I said, now Patrick, uh, Patrick was doing his best, but that Travis, I don't know what's going on now. The family concerned about him and 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 and, and uh, uh, Taylor. Was she at the game? Because they wanna, they wanna say, which I don't think is true. They wanna say he always has better games when she's no, at. They the showed game. the stats. They showed the stats. I mean, it does show that she's he is better, but I don't think I think that's more of a coincidence. I do not think it's I think right. it's a coincidence as well, but it is what it is. The numbers because I don't think high. she was at the game in Germany, so no, she wasn't. She wasn't. Well, he played awful. He unless he stopped targeting him, or I don't know. I don't know if it's you know, like we said. I don't know if it's a coincidence or if I don't know if he's trying to as much as he wants to say that he's not into it. But I don't know if he's trying to play into it. And it's like, oh, my girl ain't here, so it's a let business. me. 
you know, prove. But I mean, he's still somewhat, somewhat. I mean, he doesn't even get targeted. Also, the thing about it, if you think about it, is when she's not at the game, he doesn't get targeted as much because for him to get targeted only three times. No, he only had three receptions. I didn't say he only was targeted. Oh, wait. Three. I'm sorry. He got targeted seven times. Seven times. He only got three receptions. Yeah. That's ridiculous for a Travis yeah. Kelsey thing. So yeah. I don't know if they're, even though they're saying they're not trying to play into it, part of it is like, I I don't know. I, yeah, I, I don't know either. But moving on, moving on from the, the, the Travis Kelsey, uh, what they call it? The Trakelsky? I don't know what they they gave her some kind of nickname. Rusty's something about it because she's a sweetie know. and he's a yeah, okay. We we, get, we, we ain't giving them no more time. We, we don't want to talk about Joshua Dobbs, the aerospace engineer Jesus. that was with the Vikings for five days, no reps, only five days. Came in and did the won the game, two touchdowns. And with 22 okay. seconds left in the game, he threw the winning touchdown. Oh, Man. my God. Let me tell you how I felt about this game. <laughs> oh, that's right. They were playing the Falcons. Oh, I'm sorry. She did that on purpose. She knew that we was playing because we were just talking about it before he even came on. Okay. So your girl was at the game. Now, I'm going to tell you, as I was telling her, I had to sit and watch game day final because before we even came on, I was trying to, I was watching some of the highlights and different things. I did not know that Joshua Dobbs actually came into the game because the rookie was in first. I remember the play that they took him out of, but if you have ever been to a game, you know so much stuff be going on. The announcers sometimes don't even really announce stuff like they're like you're mm -hmm. hearing. So I'm gonna be honest, I never even knew he was playing this whole game. He was in so, there wide open. Yeah, that last play. I was pissed because I literally was like, you gave him too much time and it was an open receiver. I think we definitely messed that up. We should have won, but hey, I mean, as a football fan, that was an amazing game. An amazing yeah. game to watch. As a Falcons fan, oh my God, the Falcons did what they normally do, which is really Falcon us. That's the thing. And we always rookies look great. I don't know what it is, but for some reason, we make rookies look like they're the best thing when they play. So yeah, I'm gonna say this: they asked him was about him, his preparation or whatever. He said, and I quote: "He learned it from Coach T. He told him, no one cares about your circumstances. They want to see you succeed in the circumstances." See you succeed in the circumstances given the circumstances you are given. I was like, now he's not giving Tomlin credit. But you know, a lot of players, once they leave Pittsburgh, they give Tomlin credit for teaching them things. Mm. I want him to teach uh, 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 George Pickens how to act and behave himself so he won't be another Antonio Brown while he's teaching folks that then left. Because he got fined $24,000. Who? No, Deontay. Deontay got fined for De talking about the reps. Oh. Yeah. Now, I will say, I didn't see. This is how, I mean, honestly, this is how you can attribute to Joshua Dobbs. I know we lost, but I, I give credit to what credit's do with football. That's what you're supposed to do, fan or no fan. Um, I did not, like, I was watching the beginning part of it, like, of course, game day final, and I actually saw on the, the like, on the sidelines, they were actually, like, helping him, he was actually starting, but when he knew he was about to go in, they had him on the sidelines, and they were trying to help, like, do snap stuff, because none of them had practice with him, so mm -hmm. for... I have to give the Vikings credit for being able to adjust like they did and with a new quarterback that they hadn't had no reps with or anything with it. So well, the coach worked with him for two hours on Friday. Two right, only two hours. hours. Two hours. The two team hours. had to play with him. Listen, he's a genius. He's an aerospace engineer. He's smart. Hey, Come on. He's, he's smart. smart. So, you know what? Yeah, I they say I time I got E, so hey, I'm I look, I'm sad that we lost, but hey, I I give look. 
All right. Uh, yeah, it was good. So we we moving on to the Cardinals who traded him away to the Cardinals. That was dumb. Browns. That was dumb. Now the sad part about it is we play them next week, so I have no idea what's that going to be. Because like listen. I said, Falcons make rookies look good, so who knows? We may actually make this rookie who played in their first game last today and lost badly. Well, the final score was a zero to 27, and it was the first shutout for the Browns since 2007. Now, wow. Deshaun, Deshaun Watson decided he was going to play today. I guess he figured it was an easy team to play. And they said it was because his shoulder was better. Whatever. Okay. Anyway, he played today. Uh, Ooh, but like I said, I final score was zero to 27. That's all I got on that game. You got anything on that game? No, I just rewatched right. Nation when the the Dolphins uh Chiefs game and I forgot about that uh fumble that uh Oh yeah, Tua. Had. Listen, they were running right down the field and he fumbled that listen. We we No, all this was no, this was a side this was a side pa uh side pass. This wasn't oh. the one that he was running down the field. Okay. But yeah, that he did a they they double teamed him a lot, so yeah. What you think his former team wasn't gonna know what he was gonna do? <laughs> now listen, I don't know why we I don't know how we skipped over the Rams Packers game. The final score was three to twenty. The Packers took did it. We, did, no, I thought we No, we did not. I did not write the score down. I don't have your choice down. Nothing. I would have chose the Rams anyway. So I, I would have too. I would have chose the Rams as well. So anyway. So we would have both been been Look, moving right along to the Commanders and the Patriots. Now, I did pick the Commanders to win 21 to 20, and they won 20 to 17. Now, Sam Howell, he, uh, wait a minute. Three. Oh, it was three, it was third and 23, and he ran for a first down. And he had, the, yeah, and he's had consecutive 300 yard games. Wow. I, they, they beat the Patriots final score 2017. Moving right along to the Bears and the Saints. Oh my gosh. Now I am not happy with that one. Now the rookie, the rookie uh uh begin, he threw two interceptions today. The final score was 17 to 24. Now Tyson <laughs> Hill, the they say he should go in the <laughs> Hall of Fame for all the positions he played. He, Tyson Hill of the Saints. Oh, because he's a um quarterback, quarterback, wide receiver, wide receiver, everything. Probably a running back at times. Yeah, he's all that. But he received a touchdown and he passed for a touchdown. So, but the rookie, the rookie, uh, yeah, he had two touchdowns but three interceptions today. Stupid right. dummy bears! I just needed y'all to win. No, you just they don't know what you want to do. Now I want to talk about this next game. The Seahawks at the Ravens. Look here. I told you the Ravens scare folks when they get off the plane in Baltimore. Now, they didn't get but three. What was the final score here? Three points. Three to 38, I think. 37. Oh. Now, oh. Gino looked oh. terrible. Yeah, awful. Pete, let me quote. Pete Carroll said he's not worried about Gino, but he's concerned about the turnovers. <laughs> that means you in other words a politically correct uh response for i'm really worried about gino yeah, really and truly i i'm glad you picked up on that now that being said lamar i told you last week at the pregame he only has three interceptions he threw 21 of 26 and the Baltimore oh, yeah. Ravens lead the NFL in sacks, 35. They had four in the first half alone. And the undrafted running back, people were saying that they should have went and got Derrick Henry or another running back. But the undrafted rookie, 5'8", uh, Keaton Mitchell, ran for 138 yards, had not had an NFL carry until today. Wow. Yeah. So that again, they won that game three to uh thirty-seven. Thirty-seven. 
Man, Gino, I was so disappointed in you, man. Yeah. Lamar's was... looking good. Lamar looks good. Lamar Very... does. Yeah. Oh, look. What are they talking about now? The Colts and the Panthers. Boy. Now, look, my TV is showing Dak and the Cowboys. Oh, are you watching NFL? Uh... I don't know what I'm watching. Uh, but let me say this. Since they're showing this, since I said it out of my mouth. The Cowboys outplayed the Eagles. Now, I know the Eagles won that game 28-23. However, the Cowboys had 27 first down, the Eagles 20. They had 406 yards, the Eagles had 292. So Dak's foot on that line and that boy's knee at the one-foot line, listen, they really outplayed the Eagles. The Eagles got by. They, they snuck on by. But they really outplayed the Eagles. I'm concerned about the Eagles going forward. I'm concerned. I mean, I didn't really. I was at an event, so I wasn't. I wasn't fully invested in watching it. But trust believe, your girl had her phone with the game playing, so I was paying attention as much as I could. And basically, from what I saw, yeah, I I agree. The Eagles pretty much, they got lucky, almost like when they beat the Commanders probably twice in the sense that these games are close like they're, which one call it? And Jalen got hurt at one point in time. Yeah. I think I was listening to it on the radio. Yeah. And, and, and Jalen got hurt. And they was about to put Marcus Mariota in. And I said, oh, gosh, they about to really lose. <laughs> and the Cowboys held the Eagles to 138 yards rushing. And I mentioned how many yards the Eagles had been rushing um, at some point here. But now, uh, also, Dak had 374 yards. And Drake had that's, that's a and honestly, when when quarterbacks have over three hundred yards, they usually win the game. Usually, so, usually. He outplayed him. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. That final score again was twenty eight twenty three. We jumped over a little bit. Now back to the Giants and the Raiders. <laughs> Listen, okay. first off, we were both wrong because <laughs> we, we didn't both realize did. that Antonio Pierce going against his old team and then firing McDaniel's was going to spark all of this. I also didn't know that Antonio Pierce was going to be the... the uh... We didn't either. So, hey, sorry, guys, but I, I I be trying to give the Giants something. It's almost like how I'll be, like, somewhat rooting for the Bears, and they just keep on slipping. So I feel like these next couple of games, if you hear me call it, I'm going to be rooting against both of them. He, and, you know, the fact that it was his old team, mm, that's I know true. that had to feel really good. But the fact that, and I said, look, 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 let me say what I wrote. Let me tell you what I wrote. The, the Raiders reset. They came out like Ghostbusters after Gruden and McDaniels and got rid of all of the ghosts. I wrote that myself. Good, I like that. They definitely said, who you going to call? They got rid of all of them ghosts. And look, and they lit cigars in the locker room afterwards to finish getting rid of the ghosts. Listen, they were wide open. So that was, like a basically, cigar that was their stage. <laughs> Listen, they look like a whole new team. I don't know oh, what Josh McDaniels was doing up there. I really don't. I don't know what he was doing, but whatever he was doing. Now, Daniel Jones did get hurt. They they fear again. that it's an ACL. Yeah, again. And Tommy DeVito, I wonder if that Danny DeVito's relative, but anyway, he was 15 to 20 for 175 yards. Now, he had two interceptions, but he had one touchdown. Uh, Barkley, Shaquan, uh, uh, 90 yards. Average five point six yards per carry. Um, so that was a pretty good game for for uh, the Giants as far as stat wise, but they couldn't score no points. They just couldn't do it. They could I'll not do it. it. And Aiden O'Connell uh, was sixteen or twenty five for two hundred and nine yards. Listen, they look like a whole new team. He Thank is. you. So hopefully this Jets Raiders game next Sunday is actually more exciting than what we 
I don't know. Look, this rookie, the rookie went in the game. Uh, 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 they got a new interim head coach. It just it looked good. Now we skipped over the Colts at the Panthers. Yeah, I just saw their little things, you know. Now the Colts final score was twenty-seven thirteen, but I predicted twenty-eight fourteen. All right, now moving right along. Hold uh, up, no, I have to. No, no, no. Let's get the Colts defense credit because let me let me yes. tell you, I had them on my fantasy football team. Them uh, jokers got 26 fantasy football points. I yeah. mean, 20. No, I'm sorry. 26. Let me tell you how they got these 26 points. Because Kenny Moore five. got two pick sixes. There you go. And this was after three games of giving up 37 points each game. They only gave up, what, 13 points? Right. They had tackles. Them pick six. I'm like, what? They, yeah. they was killing it. Four, three interceptions, two defensive touchdowns, four uh -huh. sacks, 275 like defensive yards, like in a sense. And I think that's one fumble recovery with the FF. No. Yeah. I know what FF stands for. My bad. I know it. Force fumble. There you go. See, that's what we work as a team for. Team, team, teamwork. Force fumble. Yeah. So one force fumble, three interceptions, four sacks, two oh, defensive wow. touchdowns. So they was they was killing it. Yep, yep. I see it right here. They was killing it. So listen, this, this, this. Oh, we skipped the game. Oh, we skipped another game. I got so excited. The Browns. Uh-uh. Oh, uh, well, yeah, not only that, we skipped the Buccaneers at the Texas. Oh, Five yeah. 37-39, and CJ, he threw one interception, but he bounced back because he threw five touchdowns for 470 CJ. yards, a rookie record. Yes, he's on the he's on the thing for the rookie record because I think right before, like I said, I was I was watching game day and I was about to say it on here, but they had a whole thing about all of his stuff that he's like number one. I think he's gotten like four hundred and seventy yards, which is like the most of like a rookie. Yes, so far so he's yes. like yeah, he's definitely breaking the stuff. Oh dang, he looked like he about to cry on the sideline. Who is that? They were showing the the Bears and the yeah he that was a rookie record four hundred and seventy yards and five touchdowns. Listen, he is this this rookie class is unbelievable, unbelievable on both sides of the ball, defense and offense. Now, uh, you said the Browns. We skipped the Browns. I yeah, they're actually the showing them right now against the. I thought we already did. Oh, the, I guess we probably we did, did the Browns because it was zero twenty seven. Oh, and that's I, great! I forgot it. they played them. It's because I'm like watching game day, oh. so I'm like watching at the same time. Okay. Okay. Well, okay. So we done did all of that. We did the Buccaneers, Texans, final score thirty seven twenty nine. Colts, Panthers, uh, Giants, Red, Cowboys, Eagles. We did that, mm -hmm. and last but not least, the Bills oh. at the Bengals. I, I'm so sad that I didn't get the chance to really watch Football Night in America. This was, like, the one time that I'm, like, crap, and I forgot to, like, tape it to watch the – because I really wanted to watch, like, the interviews because I knew it was something. Even before the beginning of the game, they had – they literally always talked about DeMar. And I was so sad that he wasn't playing. I was like, no, I thought he was going to play. That boy not going to play much at all. I know. I told you he already said he's scared. The doctors already said last year he ain't really need to play. Now they done said he cleared and all of that. That boy ain't fit to play. He ain't fit to play. That's all there to it. I Would think it's more of a mental. Well, play? I, I told you it's mental. I know it's mental. And it's not mental only thing. is it mental, the possibility of it being uh happening again physically is is a big chance i mean come on he's still the same body the same little teeny body 
Uh, I don't know. That's the thing because there are multiple players that get hit. So I don't know. I just think that it was just a fluke exactly. accident for him. But I, I think it was a fluke accident for him. I do think, I mean, it's definitely more mental and everything. But the Bills, they did can't come out like strong. Like that first, Method. the first between each other. That was the back and forth was they were together. Front, yeah, the Bengals went was, straight down the score. They yeah, were straight and then down the Bills, they, they, that. Yeah, yeah, they were going back and forth. The and then it then it didn't end. The final score was 18-24. Now, Joe Burrows is back. Cool Joe is back. He oh, is, cool. this is the fourth win in a row. They've slipped into second place, tied with the uh, 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 Steelers at five and three. <laughs> <laughs> but we hold the tiebreaker because we beat them. Um, now, four in a row and their last three games were against winning teams, Seattle, San Francisco, and the Buffalo Bills. Now, the Bills, I am still concerned about these Bills. I'm just saying. They're not playing like they used to. And it's I something. told you at preseason there was yeah. trouble in that camp. You know what the interesting part is? You would think because of, like, what happened with DeMar, it would have bought them stronger and all the other stuff. But it seems like it's a lot more stuff that's going on that's, like... Well, see, it did, but it also made them realize uh, how quick things change, okay? Now, everybody thought they were going to win last year and the year before, Okay. So then you get to the DeMar Hamlin situation. They don't make it. They see how fragile life is. So everybody's on pins and needles. And I agree. I think it's more mental than anything. And I think Josh, I think his his turnovers, I think they are mental. I, I think it's more mental because when you can see it in his eyes when he ain't focused. And when he ain't on it, you can see it. You can see it. You can see it. Yeah. And, oh, we didn't mention that the Steelers put Matt Canada on the sideline and brought him out of the booth. Oh, yeah. Even, even the commentators said that they were talking about how – awesome that was and how yeah. they think that because of that reason that's why they're playing better but because yeah. he could communicate with right. the whole team instead of just pick it and pick its ear and see when you just talking to pick it he getting frustrated because the, he can't say everything that you need to be down there saying so i think we on the straight and narrow we getting it getting there the defense is killing it um so uh, does that mean when y'all play them? When y'all play them again? I'm not sure. So I'm I'm just trying to see when y'all play the Bengals again. This is gonna be. I feel like it might be of a more um, true nature of what the game could be because Joe wasn't really playing up to par like and stuff. So it'll be an interesting game to see like how you guys play with that game. Yeah, I think it's around. It's probably the end of the year. End of it's close. Like it, it's always in January or something like that. Uh, let me see. December. If it's not January, it's probably de the end of December. Like December. Let's see that. We played them December twenty third at four thirty. Oh. Twenty third of December at four thirty. December 23rd, so you play them, like, right before Christmas. So we're going to hope that Miss Natalie has a great <laughs> Christmas present. And <laughs> guess who play on Christmas Eve? Oh, so I know. Christmas Christmas Eve, the Browns play the Texans. Mm -hmm. Oh. The Commanders play the Jets. The Colts play the Falcons. Yep, I know that one. The Lions, my, play the, Vikings. the Lions play the Vikings. Ooh. That's going to be a good one. The Cowboys play the Dolphins. Mm, the, the, battle of the, the battle of the losers, the Patriots and the Broncos. <laughs> now. Sean holy, versus holy, Bill Belichick? Christmas Day. Christmas Day. Ravens are playing in. 
Ravens, Ravens and, the and the Chiefs. Okay. Giants and the Eagles. Okay. Ravens and the 49ers. Yeah, I was about to say, I remember that. Now, like will the 49ers battle, be back to themselves? That used to be the brother, the Jim, the Harbaugh brothers thing. So now the 49ers have Chase Young from Washington. Mm. Now their linebackers are picking up. But them Ravens look good. Those Ravens look really good. Now, um, yeah, that's about, yeah, that's going to be a good, some good games. Really good game. So I'm for it. Yeah. So now, all right. So that's week nine. We are week nine. We halfway there. Yeah. Week nine. We got one more game left tomorrow night. The Chargers week nine has yes. been live, though. It has been. Nine has been live. Them, them Jets looking good. Them Jets are looking good. Now, let me say this before we get out of here. Uh, the Jets are in second place in the AFC East. That's because they're tied with the Bills, right? Yeah, but they're sitting on top of the Bills because they, they lost that. Yeah. 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 So I'm just saying. And uh, like I said, the, the Browns are tied with us. Well, it's all all of us are five and three, except for the Ravens. Everybody is five and three, except for the Ravens. They're seven and two. And our division, Jacksonville is six and two. Houston is in second place at four and four. Kansas City seven and two. Philly eight and one. They're the only eight and one team in the league. They're not playing like they eight and one. They though. are not playing like it. No. But you know um, what? What this is showing? We're in week nine, and we still. There's still not a clear runner for any division. I mean, there's some some of them, but as it seems right now, there's not a clear runner for any division. Anybody can get it. Yeah, anybody. Yeah, if you would have asked us at the beginning of the season, we would have said San Francisco, but they tied with Seattle at five and three. Right, and Seattle's um, playing like how they used to play when they were well. It's the outside of this in the game, their defense is playing basically like how they played when they were going for Super Bowl. Now, uh, the Ravens look amazing. I'm not going to lie. They look amazing. The, the Dolphins, they started off like they was going to just win everything. They didn't look like the Dolphins. They, the Bills look like, I mean, the Chiefs made them look like. What's a baby Dolphin something. called? Look, the, I was, wait a minute. The, they, the Dolphins, I was going to say they made them look like goldfish. But I was about to say, what's a <laughs> right? That's why I, I was like, what's a baby they, dolphin? Let me say, they didn't look good. They did not look good. The Chiefs look good, really good, really yeah. good. Well, so. we'll say the Chiefs. We we'll, won't. We'll, some of their players look oh, good. Not everybody on their team look yeah. good. Travis. All right, so that's it. This is week nine. We did something different this week. We trying all kinds of things. This is the Sunday wrap up with uh, sports chat with Nat with Master T. It's the midnight yes. special. It's the midnight special. Shine the light on you. We got the scores for you. Okay, listen. Look at you. You over here making songs. I have to shout out my uncle who sent me a message today on Marco Polo after my Falcons lost and I told him don't be coming on my phone don't don't send me songs about my Falcons losing until your Bears and right Rams Rams decide to win so all right well listen we out of here week nine scores and updates this is us we talk to you later bye y'all <laughs> This is Sports Chat with Nat. 